Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. I thought this time we would spin up the Dreamcast emulator. Uh, we are now using the full paid for version of this emulator, which unlocks uh, this mode here, uh, which allows you to massively, massively increase the uh, resolution of the game. And you can make them look really nice. Now, this, uh, funny enough, this option is available in the free version of the emulator. But what confused me greatly is <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. So even though I bumped this way up uh, when I was trying it out, the game still looked like they were, you know, natively outputting on, on a Dreamcast, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But usually with an emulator, you can uh, have these niceties. And uh, I was very surprised that didn't appear to do anything. Bought the game, uh, bought the emulator rather. And now, oh my God, you can make games look good. You can make them look pin sharp. It's, it's pretty incredible. Anyway, um, so what to play? Well, I dipped into my Dreamcast library of which I have quite a few hundred games, uh, most of which are still zipped up, which is only why a selection of them actually show up here. But I was summing through everything and I found this, The Ring, Terror's Realm. Mm. Now, uh, I've wanted to play this for a very long time since I actually found out about this game. And I have a feeling, I can't remember if I knew about this. I've got a feeling that I knew about this a very long time ago. But, uh, a while ago, it was brought to my attention in my Discord. I believe it was either Jimmy, uh, it was either Chris, or possibly uh, Reva. I can't remember which one of you guys mentioned it. But um, I did say at the time, absolutely, we'll, we'll check this game out. Now, from what I can find out about this game, which isn't much... Apparently, it's really bad, and it's only very, very, very loosely uh, kind of uh, based around the ring. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Now, I haven't seen The Ring, the actual film, since I was in college, or maybe just after, which is the best part of 20 years ago. Uh, I was in college in 2004 to 2005 I think yeah something like that that'd do close enough uh, uh I can't really remember too much about it I mean obviously the ring is is quite a landmark film it changed Japanese horror at least for for you know a while <laughs> should we say even now um the effect of the ring is still still in full swing I mean it did also inspire a lot of games like um Project Zero uh you know uh way too many to be honest to to um to mention here but i can't remember loads about the film i know uh the whole premise of the film is there is a cursed videotape yes videotape remember those and if you watch the videotape you have 7 days to pass that tape on to somebody else and you, that other person has to watch the tape. Otherwise, after seven days, um, this woman, I can't remember her name, which really annoys me, will crawl out of a TV screen and murder you because she was drowned in a well uh, when she was a kid. And she's a, she's a little bit upset about that. And uh, that's how she gets her revenge. I can't remember much more than that, to be honest. Apart from the videotape was literally uh, her climbing out of a well. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? The Ring. Uh, I, as I said, I had a quick look of this game. I, I googled it before I decided whether to play it or not. And yeah, universally panned. This game apparently really isn't very good. Um, <laughs> that sounds good to me. Let's go, shall we? Let's have a little little look.
too bad, even as a prototype, the force sucks. Okay. Ooh. Right, not the music I was expecting. <laughs> okay. So we are Meg question mark? Something about a virus and a prototype? Uh what? <laughs> uh yeah, sure, Chief. Why not? Let's go. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Listen to these sound effects. Like a squelching sound, like a comedy squelching sound. I'm sorry, what? Alright, well, let's have a look, see what options we have. Uh, can't get a vibration to work on this emulator, not that I've really tried, to be honest. We've got type B. The camera will be in fixed locations and always following the player. Okay. So, is this like a Resident Evil sort of game? I, I don't know. I honestly, I have no idea. So let's go new game. Hello. Meg? Robert, did you get the job? Yeah, I'll be working with you starting tomorrow. So I guess I'll be seeing you soon. Really? That's great. So why don't we go out for a celebratory drink? Okay. I'll be ready. Promise? Promise. Bye for now. Well, who the hell does she think she is? She hasn't any idea of how important this project is. Uh. Did he just like turn into a werewolf or something? Oh, Robert, he didn't sound so pleased, even though it's been quite a while since we spoke. He's absolutely missed the thick head, even on my last birthday. Well, today is the day he has to make up for it. So these two don't. Seem to like each other much. Are they siblings? What? Oh god. Robert? Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to do it that way. You know, since that's. <laughs> hey! Hey, miss! No, I'm sorry, you can't come in here. You're gonna have to get out of here. Or do Manhandled? What's happened, officer? What's happened, officer? No, I'm, out. I'm asking Watch a question. Do you live here? Hello? Miss? Watch out! Hey. <laughs> Hello? Hey. <laughs> hey, stop, lady. Oof. No, I can't believe it's Robert. No. Oh, yeah. You okay, lady? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? Hey, what's going on over there? What is this? Like, hey, ma'am, what's happening here? Now, hold on a moment, sir. I know the person. They're friends. What happened? Uh, I don't believe <laughs> this. I see. Oh, Meg! Could you explain your relationship to either her or the victim? Yeah, I know the two of them. They're both my friends. I'm Jack, and this is Robert's girlfriend, Meg. Oh, that's his girlfriend? What happened to Robert? Actually, we don't yet exactly know what happened to him this evening. You don't know? Isn't this a murder? Okay. It's unlikely to be a homicide, now. Siri. Not a murder? Then what's that? Did you see his face? What's happened? Oh my god! Well, we'll get to the bottom of this. Jesus Christ. I'm company without you, Robert. I shouldn't mourn your death forever. <laughs> right. Eh, yeah, fuck, Robert. Let's carry on. Well, I... I... 
Wow. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just take a moment. Oh dear, oh dear, here we are. Meg, this is the lab Robert was using. So this is my room starting today. It's a weird feeling. Can we pause this, please? I, I need to try and process what's just happened. Wait, this is a Dreamcast game? Are you sure? Meg, Robert, okay. Why does she look like a clown? No good comes from me moping around all the time. I have to do my best. Right, okay, we can pause it. What the fuck was that? What was any of that? Jesus Christ. We're in for some chop here, lads. Ah, oh, okay. So that was some of the best acting I've ever seen in the game. So let's cross Robert's name out, because I was writing notes as we was going. Uh, Robert, dead. Meg is his girlfriend, and she kind of doesn't really give two shits about the fact that he's dead. She's like, oh, well, carry on as usual. Another day at the office, am I right? Uh, then we had the other guy, didn't get his name, who was their friend. Apparently knew Robert. Oh, my God. Yes, let's just go. This does not look like a Dreamcast game. This looks like a PlayStation 1 game that's had... Some sort of like texture smoothing applied. Um, oh, Jesus. I need some nicotine for that and some caffeine. Jesus Christ. Okay, my mind has already been blown. I, 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 I don't know what the hell's going on. So I guess we have an inventory here with nine slots. It looks like a Resident Evil style game. We have equipment, we have items, we have S item. Confirmation of valuable items. We have a flashlight, right? We have a map and we have fine. Oh, actually, the map's all right, isn't it? Mm. Yes, okay. All right, well, I like the map. Uh, not really sure. Okay. So X cycles us through the different floors. So does Y. B cancel. A is okay. I like A being okay. Right, so let's try and work out what the hell's going on here. Haven't seen any mention of a videotape yet, which is curious. Oh, Jesus. I mean, uh, fax machine, is that like a safe? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 this does not control nicely. Oh, it's interesting. The analog stick does nothing. Yes, my controller is set up properly. Empty. What's empty? Robert was the one uh, using this desk. What does he want me to help him with? There's nothing left. Yeah, uh, uh, Robert didn't actually want to see you, Meg. I'm I'm sorry, but then it didn't sound like you wanted to see him either. Uh, to Robert. Uh, to think Robert isn't here anymore. I can't believe it. I feel like he's going to call any minute. Yeah, well, he's dead. He, he you know, shriveled up. So, you know, there's that. Phone rings. Hello, Meg? It's Jack. Are you settled in now? Yes. Today is my first day. I'm sorry to make you worry so much. Don't worry about it. I know you're going through uh, tough times at the moment. Wow. No. At times like this, it's easier to be worried about others. Oh yeah, by the way, did you look at Robert's computer? Meg, computer? I see his laptop here. Something the matter with it? Jack. No, actually, I heard a slightly strange story. Meg, a strange story? Jack says, yeah, about CDC lab members. This, this text goes so fast. Uh, Jack says, died at the same time, in the same way as Robert did. Oh man, reading this is going to be a dick, because sometimes it just auto-scrolls, and then other times you get this diamond, that upside-down diamond arrow thing, which allows you to advance. It. This is weird, man. Right, and the text actually scrolls pretty quickly. 
Alright, Meg says, same time. Oh, just didn't even get a time to read it. Jack says, I don't think it's a coincidence. I've never seen anybody die like that. Yeah. Meg says, you're right. But what does that have to do with the computer? See now, oh, look at her face. Now we're getting, um, you know, prompts to carry on the text. Jack says, yeah, about the computer. Both of them were found dead in front of their computer. Meg says, Jack? Now, this isn't a coincidence. Jack says, no, I have more. Robert, for fuck's sake, man. Running a program called The Ring. Oh, God, The Ring's a program. I'm just going to sum this up. Uh, ring, police thought it was suspicious. I tried to analyze it, but then... Okay. Program won't boot. Apparently. Uh, right. He was very happy. Okay, Meg's a scientist. Okay, so she would understand if he died from a virus in a computer. What? This is terrible. Right, so the friend is Jack. You're a worry wart. I'll be fine. Yeah, just two people have been murdered by, you know, sitting at their computers, Jack, but you're full of it, to be honest, mate. Full of shit. Uh, right. Right, okay. So now we're taking over Robert's job starting today. So Robert was a scientist too? I'm sure Robert's happy about that. Robert's dead, Jack. I don't know if you know. I don't think he's happy about anything. You know, the film I watched once said the dead know only one thing. That is, it's better to be alive. Okay, so basically to sum that up, uh, there's a computer virus or a computer program called The Ring. Jack opened it, uh, and then he died. Somebody else did the same thing. The police tried to examine the computer virus called The Ring, but they couldn't get it to boot. I also did skip a bit of that as well, because I couldn't read it. Okay, usually I do like to read the text out, but it just goes way too fast. Is there an option for that? Probably not. No option. Okay. Oh my god, ring, a killer computer program. This is silly. This, this is ring? I thought it didn't boot. Please enter your name. Enter name? This seems... Can't read it. I can't read it, guys. It goes too quickly. The reason Robert died might be hidden inside this. I'm going to try. Okay, so we're starting a conversation with the computer program. I think. I think that's what's going on. I don't know. the fuck is this? Oh, right. We're now in the... Com oh, we're in the computer program. Apparently. What? Does this have to do with the ring? Okay. Okay, cool. Some VR world. I like the way we've got a flashlight attached to our shoulder. Booted up a program called the ring on the computer. Uh huh. Yeah, I like the suit. Anyway, I should investigate. We got a gun? Brigade member, what are you doing? Who's a brigade? Who's that? What am I doing? Booting up this computer. What are you saying? Well, uh, in the situation we're in, I can understand that you're getting confused. I'm confused! Egg, this situation, making me wear this and all. Where in the world is this? This place? This is our battlefield against them. Against them? Them? What are you saying? Anyway, we have no time for this. One of them has snuck in here. I'll go check the first floor, you check the second floor. Do you reckon that brigade member's gonna die? Probably. Check 
the second floor. Yes, Meg, get with the program. It's not difficult. Enough of this already. Is that gun you're holding a fake? Quit yakking and go kill them off. If you're too slow, they'll get us. Kill them? You're the one that made me hold this gun. What? No, we had a gun before. What? There's no way I can use it without learning how. I'm appalled that someone would stand there without knowing how to use a gun. Are you with the informatics department? Well, all right. Here's a quick rundown. Keep your ears open. First, try pushing the L trigger. That turns the flashlight on and off. Right. If you keep the flashlight on, they'll find you immediately. Oh, okay. So be careful. Now try pushing the R trigger. Uh, hold the gun up with the R. Okay. The R trigger. Cool. The gun will automatically target within a 45 degrees front of you. But it's only but it only targets where the flashlight shines. Gun shoots if you push the A button whilst aiming. Try aiming and firing. Alright. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That gun has a laser sight, so it should be easy to tell where you're aiming. Be careful, some weapons don't have sights. <laughs> Next, equipping weapons. The status screen appears when you push the start button. But, uh, you can change equipment in the status screen. Bullets will automatically reload, but it takes time. If you load bullets in the status screen, you can prevent time loss. Oh, right. So, quick reload in items. Yeah, fine. Resident Evil, basically. And you can check your health whilst you're in the status screen. You know your bo your own body the best. I would hope so. You have no problems if the top center window is green. You're in trouble if it's red. Now, open the status screen and check yourself. Uh. Uh, right, so we've got 10 bullets, we've got a knife, we're fine. Um, let's have a little squeeze at our items. I mean, it just literally says handgun. Delete. Delete the handgun. Yeah, why? Let's not do that. High accuracy and safe for any user. Right. Reload. No spare ammunition. <laughs> Did I just like blast loads of bullets or I don't know. I have no idea. Uh Okay. You checked, right? And last, changing viewpoints. Oh, you can push the Y button or shift to first person view. While you have the Y button down, it's always from your point of view. Change the line of sight with the analog thumbpad. Oh, okay. Look around this way. You'll return to this view when you let go of the Y button. Try it. Okay. Right. That? Okay, then the analog stick makes us look around. Yeah, but what's the point? Can we aim? Can we actually do anything in that mode? Alright, those are the basic controls. Anything else you need to learn, you're on your own. Do you want me to go over them again? Hell to the no, dude. Then I want you to go check out the second floor. Be very careful. Okay. So, oh Jesus Christ. Right, let's grab this bottle of whatever the fuck it is. You found healing jelly. Uh, yes, please. Go smother jelly all over our body, shall we? All right, any other goodies around here? So, that turns the light off. We need to keep the light off, otherwise they will find us immediately. Do we have, like, any indication of when they're here? Right, okay. Well, what I am going to do, I'm going to drop a safe state here, guys. Just because, in the event of us dying, I don't want to have to go through all that bullshit again. Because we haven't had a save spot yet. We will be using traditional saves throughout this. Uh, don't worry. We're not going to be cheesing saves. Okay, also, I don't know how stable this game is. Looking pretty bloody stable, to be honest. So that's a door. Doesn't open. Can we talk to this brigade dude again? Okay, so the way she runs is, is like she's on a grid. So if we push up to run, she will run a complete full cycle forwards. Okay, that's going to take some, like, getting used to. I mean, it's not bad. It's fine, but... 
Okay. I don't think any of this shit does anything. Oh! No good. Doesn't look like it leaving budge. Doesn't look like what leaving budge? What are you talking about? Alright, well. Go upstairs. We turn the light out. Probably a good idea. So, if the light... If the light is out... Stairs here. There are stairs here. Go upstairs, yes. Does that mean they can't see? Uh. Oh, shit. Okay, it's dark. It's really dark. Not sure I really want the light. Oh, some more healing jelly. Okay, I mean, we can still... Oh. Oh, we can hear something up here. That ambient audio. Can we grab some healing jelly? Ah, right. A little bit tricky to pick up items. So, the torch is rather anus. Nothing up here yet, Chief. Kind of a weird idea, you know? It's... Oh. It sort of works. What is this? There isn't any enemies up here. This is stupid. Oh. Okay, I can hear a liquor. That is a... What, what is that? Oh, come on. That that's the enemy? He wants to kill he wants me to kill that? He's reckless. I have to do it, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean come on, let's just shoot it. I mean it's just standing there, waiting for us to shoot it. Okay. I mean Is he gonna get back up again? Check our inventory. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, this is something. I don't know what, but it's something. We'll take the handgun bullets. How many have we got? I mean, okay, right, item. Let's reload. Yes. Right, so it does only hold 10 rounds. That's good. All right, I mean, yeah, okay. Oh, more bullets. I mean, is there any more up here? This is an interesting premise. Like, they could have done something with this, but... Okay, so we can turn quickly. I'm curious about these enemies, though. Do they hide? I mean, they're not very scary. It's just like a... I don't know, like a yeti man or werewolf man or something. A bit weird. I defeated the upstairs enemy, but now, how do I, what, my body, I feel ill, uh oh, hey, what's wrong, hey, good lord, right, so when she passes out, she goes back, the real world question mark huh? so oh I was passed out this program what was that about ring it's just a game really Jack should hold off with his jokes once in a while yeah I don't think he's joking Yeah, uh, when you watch the videotape, I remember. The uh, phone always rings and tells you you're going to die afterwards. Jack, sheesh. I have to give him a piece of my mind. What's Jack done? Hello? Ooh, there we go. Hello? Dead. Seven more days. Seven more days. Okay. Well, we're fucked. Why can't we just go into the weird 
realm. Hour outage? Crank cool? Seven more days? I'm going to die in seven days? You've got to be kidding. She doesn't even look that sad about it, to be honest. Uh, can we go back into the game? Because that was, like, cool. Nothing's happening. Oh, man. All right. I mean, actually inside that weird game thing was pretty cool. I don't really... All right. I guess we're going to go outside and have a little wander around. How do we save? Is there, like, I don't know, fucking fax machine or something? An item box. Okay. I mean, this seems like an interesting concept. You've got the two different worlds. Oh, right. You've got, like, the ring world. Yeah. <laughs> wonder if we're going to bump into any Spartans in the ring world. Get it? Because ring world and... Yeah, I know. I'm here all day, folks. Um, okay. So we've got an item box with nothing in it. Can we read these papers? I'm concerned that we're half an hour into the game yet and we haven't had a save spot or anything. There's nothing much here. All right. Uh, oh, what's that? Hills. Oh, oh, there's healing jelly in the real world too. Curious. Hey, it seems to run fairly nicely. He's a pretty good emulator. Who the f hell is that? Chris. Excuse me? My name is Chris. Are you Meg? Hello, Chris. Why are we now able to advance the text when we want? Consistency, please. Meg says, I'm Meg. Meg Rainman. <laughs> Rainman. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Chris says, you don't have to be so formal. My pleasure to meet you. Oh, God, she looks like a miserable bitch as well. Jesus Christ. Chris also says, I know it's sudden, but the chief is asking for you. I'll guide you to the chief's office. Is that fine with you? Meg says, oh, yes, that's fine with me. They don't even look human. Chris says, hee hee hee, you're acting so formal. Well then, this way. Well, she has just found out that she's, now she's walking like she shit herself. They both are. That's awkward. What is this? Oh, she looks like a clown. She does though. Am I the only one? Oh, we can go into first person here too. Oh my good God. Look at the state of that. Um, right. Meg says, nice to meet you, Chief. I'm Meg Raymond. Sorry I was late. I was at your services. I'm at your services starting today. Chief. Oh, thanks for coming. I'm looking forward to your work. Meg says, I'm sorry we caused you so much trouble with this case. Chief says, what are you saying? We're the ones who were serviced. By Robert. It was a shame to end up that way. We have to work hard now to make up for our loss of Robert. Meg says, yes, I think so too. Chief says, by the way, about Robert, you heard the three lab members, including him, passed away. That's bad. Meg says, yes, I heard they all passed away at the exact same time. No, that's right. For such an accident, there is a high chance that it was a virus. Right. Meg, I assume so. This is the uh, CDC, after all. Yes, this is the best facility against the disease for public... Read this guy. I can't read it. Shutting the lab down. Worried about a virus. Prohibited us from leaving the facility. Okay. Prohibited us from leaving? That means... Well, you could say we've been quarantined. Impossible. Uh, I'm so sorry about this. Not that unusual for this facility, though. It'll only be for two to three days. Fortunately, you're free to roam this facility. Have a look around the place. 
Right now we're checking for a virus leakage in the basement. You can only see the second floor. This card will be your key and identification within the facility. Make sure you don't lose it. So be careful. Then go look around the facility. Yes, excuse me then. She's handling herself well, considering she knows she's going to die in seven days and she's going to spend the next two to three of those days locked here. Right, okay, I'm going to end this. Um, I'm, I'm trying to read it out, guys, but the text speed is so utterly inconsistent. Sometimes you have to manually skip the text ahead. Other times it gives you like a good few seconds to read what you're saying and then the next sentence just flies by, you know, in about a second. And it's really inconsistent. Um, what do I think of this game? Then? Oh, dear, oh, dear. I mean, it's utter anus, as uh, Jimmy Fails would say, but it's entertaining anus. I think I'm going to enjoy this anus. Yes, we're going to go deeper into this anus next time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.